What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I am the host of this channel, Zaria. If I'm talking like I'm out of breath, it's probably because I am. I'm Big Mama and this is Little Mama. Little Big Mama. <laughs> welcome back to another video. Uh, I am in my ninth month of pregnancy and when I tell you, I now feel like I'm sick. So, I know a lot of moms be saying like they feel that congestion in their nose and stuff and in their face. I feel like I'm getting sick, y'all. My kids already had colds and stuff and they coughing and hacking and all that nasty stuff that they getting from school and I think they done brought it home to me and this baby. My nose is burning. It's like all the signs of like early, um, early cold, like your nose start getting congestion in your face start hurting then your throat get a little scratchy so definitely my doctor had me on uh, vitamin c pills because my hemoglobin is low and my iron is low so i'm gonna definitely be going in there in a little bit making me some tea and taking my medicine like i should have took this morning but when you're pregnant you just be tired to even breathe right now it's tiresome so as you can see by the title of this video, this video is a baby update. So the last time I did one of these, I think I was in between 12 and 14 weeks pregnant. So it's been a long time. I am currently 37 weeks pregnant. Hold on one second. Malachi? What are you in there doing, sir? Okay. Yeah, I'm currently 37 weeks pregnant. Um, I have been going through some really crazy things, some things that um, I did not go through in my first pregnancy. So if you don't know and you're new to my channel, I have two biological kids um, and four bonus kids. So my oldest being seven and then this little mama right here being um, seven years apart from that one. So yeah, basically I feel like I just started from scratch. Um, I am only 25 years old. I was 18 when I had her, so I was a teen mom. I had her fresh out of high school. She taught me a lot of things. She taught me responsibility. She taught me um, about the gift of unconditional love. She taught me how to be selfless instead of selfish. And so I thank my daughter for that because kids teach you a lot, especially when you have them young. Um, you learn fast and if you don't learn fast you just end up being like most of these women out here um, they had kids young and they never got out of that phase of oh I had kids young so now I got to live my young life and I'm in my mid 50s 60s I'm glad that I didn't go down that route and that I will never go down that route so baby update I I'm having shortness of breath. Um, the difference between this pregnancy and the last one is, well, I'll list them for you. I'm having round ligament pain. That is when your ligaments, which are connected on your pelvis on both sides. It's, it's almost like the best way to describe this for you in my own definitions, it feels like a grinding in my hips. So if I get up off this couch right now and I twist the wrong way, my ligaments feel like they're like clicking, like that grinding feeling. It hurts like the devil. Oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. Like to the point where I get like this shooting pain that shoots from my ligament into my leg and into my feet. It hurts so bad. Um, I've also been experiencing, sorry, I gotta take a breath, lightning crotch. So for those of you who've had lightning crotch or have experienced lightning crotch, whether it be pregnant, I've heard people say they've experienced it even without being pregnant. Basically what that is, is it feels like lightning shooting from your groin, from your pelvis into your groin. And it can stop you in your tracks. Like you can be ready to like, yeah, girl, da, da, da. And it'll hit and you'll want to break anything around you because it's so painful. It is like a shooting electrical pain that comes from 
your pelvis into your groin area when I tell you I've had these these episodes when I was like walking and when, during my work hours I could be talking to somebody and literally stop dead in my tracks because that's how painful it is uh, when I first got pregnant I was having kidney infections so little mama here was doing a lot um, I had one kidney infection and then I started having UTIs currently after that now UTIs and kidney infections I think they one leads to the other if not treated and so technically one hospital I went to ooh, excuse me they were supposed to admit me but they didn't because they said my kidneys weren't tender enough it makes no sense so I went to another hospital um, if you don't know Ohio is actually the best place for hospitals period like we have the best hospitals in the world and so I went to the other hospital that we're known for and they were like yeah why didn't they admit you I'm like I don't know I guess it's good as mine because last time I had one was my first baby and they kept me in the hospital because she bruised my kidneys she actually bruised my kidneys and they were tender so they kept me for like two days two three days and I was on antibiotics to get rid of it now with this baby um I've had insomnia, heartburn, um, lucid dreams. I never had lucid dreams with my first daughter. But with this baby, I've had lucid dreams. I mean, I've had dreams that octopuses were like shapeshifters turning into people. I've had some very weird, weird, out of this world dreams. Very weird. <laughs> like scare me to go to sleep type of dreams and i didn't believe in lucid dreams because i'm like oh people be having weird dreams oh that wasn't me but every pregnancy is different this one in particular i'm having like lucid dreams they crazy like yo like they crazy and then um let's see let's see lucid dreams oh back pain excessive back pain that junk hurt i mean that junk hurt Braxton Hicks did not have them with my first baby having them with this one uh, Headaches did not have them with my first baby having them with this one in particular. I'm having pika cravings So with the first one, I didn't have any like pika. I think it's pika Sorry y'all if I pronounced that wrong. It's pika So if you don't know what pika is pika is uh, when you crave things that aren't food and a lot of times they associate pica with people who are pregnant, but it can happen if you're not pregnant as well. So pica usually is associated with your iron level being low, which is why you'll crave things that aren't food. Particularly when you see women eating ice and even crazier things, cornstarch, baking soda, smells, they crave textures, um, dirt, rocks, you name it. My strange addiction, you'll probably it'll probably be up under pica and so with me what i've been craving is the smell of like smell good scents uh cleaning supplies like anything that smells clean i've just been craving that don't worry i ain't drinking none of it i ain't doing none of that crazy stuff it's just because my iron is low i'm craving it um but i'm mainly eating like a lot of ice i bought i bought bags of ice from chick-fil-a they got that good ice i don't sit there and munch on it so yeah, this explain why my hemoglobin was low because my iron is low, which is contributing to that. So my doctor got me on some meds for that, some iron pills and stuff, and I've been taking them. But yeah, like I never knew nobody that had pica. I feel like I'm like the only one in my circle that has pica because I've never known nobody else to have pica. So yeah, I'm like the first, the first to have pica. And the biggest thing that I've been going through that makes me want to cry so bad is this daggone PGP or SPD. Let me break it down to you in layman's terms of what that is. So PGP is pelvic girdle pain. SPD is, I think it's symphysis pubic dysfunction. And I'll put those on the screen. Symphysis pubic dysfunction pelvic girdle pain they're basically one and the same okay so what happens is during pregnancy your pelvis can can relax and all those ligaments and 
all of those things that's connected to your pelvis they relax through a uh, hormone called relaxin and making room for the baby the problem with that is your bones become too lax and it becomes painful for you as the mother and so right now my ligaments and stuff is all over the place and so because of that I'm experiencing excruciating pain in my pubic bone and the symptoms of that are like a burning sensation you can't really open your legs wide um, it's hard to get out of bed it took me like 20 minutes to get out of bed no lie because I'll be in so much pain when I get up in the morning sitting down because I feel it in my tailbone because my tailbone is also connected to my pelvis um, both my butt bones I'm sorry both my behind bones let's put it that way um and y'all can look this stuff up if y'all want more information about it i like literally they say one in five women get it so it's not actually something that people talk about or that's very common so if you come across it in your pregnancy or if you come across somebody else that's had it then yeah but it's very rare but i happen to be that one in five all my life i felt like when bad things happen, I always get this short end of the stick. <laughs> because why am I having PGP and SBD, whatever, ABC, my second pregnancy? Like, I'm just not understanding that. It just had to be me, Lord. So, yeah, I have those. I have that right now. And it's like the most excruciating thing. I, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. It's very debilitating. Uh, I developed it, I believe, at work. I worked for a warehouse, standing for 40 hours. A week is just not no joke standing for 10 hours a day four days out the week is no joke and I feel like during my first couple months of pregnancy I was doing all that heavy lifting and I was doing all that crazy stuff you know they tell you not to do none of that but I was doing it and it put me in this position to have to develop that and so um, most of the time they say it's caused by you know just your, your everything's out of whack right now because the baby in there and she's she needs room so everything's moving around um to strenuous work like what i was doing strenuous work um lifting heavy objects being on my feet for long periods of time it's a whole lot of that so a lot of that played a factor in me getting um pgp and spd or one or the other um same thing honestly so yeah, they, they played a part in that. that. That definitely played a big role in that. And um, sometimes when I wear my pregnancy belt, because that's been recommended, it does help, but it's not a cure for it. They actually say the only cure to get rid of it is delivery. So that's why I'm, I'm like, come on girl, come on out of here because I'm in so much pain that I just want her to come out because I'm tired of every day I wake up. I feel like somebody took a brick and hit me in between the legs 20 times, took a break, hit me again 20 more. So it's hard for me to sit down because when I sit down, if I'm not sitting down on a, a comfortable surface, I feel that pain all shoot up to my back um, because my pelvis is connected to my behind and everything else. And that stuff, just, you know, if you've ever had a pain that is like pulsating, that's the best way that I way that I can describe this. It's a pulsating pain. It just shoots all over the place, from my lower half to to like midpoint my back, uh, into my like abdomen, up underneath the baby, where my stomach and my groin meet. It's just a lot, and it is very. It's I can't stress this enough. It's a very painful experience. I would not wish it on my worst enemy. It is something that I really wish. I can speed up time to get rid of, but y'all, I got two more weeks. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready like spaghetti. I'm just ready to get this all over with because I really need to just be able to get some sleep. <laughs> but with that insomnia, I ain't getting no sleep. So, yeah, that's, that's like the worst thing that I've been going through this pregnancy is that it is so hard when you are already big as a house and you're trying to navigate life and you got younger kids and stuff like that that you still have to tend to still look at you as mommy and I'm a, I'm a wife so my husband's still looking at me and I'm looking at him and he's looking at me and I'm like bro uh uh like dude I don't even need to go into detail of that but like baby girl didn't just she didn't took over honey this is her body this is her body okay 
she is the boss and she has made that clear that she is the boss she is the boss and so y'all pray for me October 9th is our delivery date and um Honestly, I don't think we're going to even make it to October 9th. I really think we're going to make it to like the 30th, the week, maybe the first week of October. After that, I'm done. Like, I'm telling my doctor to induce me anyways when I go see them on Wednesday. Y'all got to figure something out. Y'all got to get her out of here because she's getting an eviction notice. Mama is tired. <laughs> Mama been pregnant half of the year. I'm tired. I am more than half of the year. I'm. Y'all know how it is when you get into that last... The last three months, I'm going to say, the seventh through your ninth month, you just be tired. You be tired. You you like, if somebody say something to me, I'm ready to go. Because I'm just tired. I'm at that point where I've been carrying this baby. She all on my organs and all this other stuff. that I'm making room for her. This is her home right now. But mama tired. <laughs> my, mama want to mama wanna be normal again. I want to go back to... Being able to get out my bed and not have the army crawl out my bed. I just, I'm ready to see her too. That's another thing. I'm real anxious to see her, but I'm just tired, y'all. I'm tired. I don't mean to be cruel, but I'm tired. Anybody that know, if you've ever had, you ain't, if you a man, you don't know. So just, you ain't never had no baby, so you ain't gonna understand. But for the women out here, for the moms out here, y'all know how it is to carry that baby all the months and you just be tired at the end. You be exhausted because you like somebody, anybody, just come and save me. Take this baby on out of here. So, you getting a pink slip. You hear me? You getting a pink slip. If she ever sees this vlog when she gets older. You getting a pink slip, mama. You got to go. You got to get up out of here, okay? You ain't got to go nowhere else, but you got to come up out of here. <laughs> you got to come up out of here. I love you. Mama love you, but you got to you got to go. You got to go. So listen guys, that was an update on the baby. Um and this the I'm wrapping up the end of the pregnancy, y'all. It's been a while since y'all last seen a video of me updating y'all, but this is our last update. We are now at crunch time for baby Z. And uh pretty soon I will be giving y'all her name. Uh, her first and middle name and uh, the meaning of that name so hopefully you enjoyed this video thank you to all the people who subscribed to my channel recently I am very much in love with anybody who um, has subscribed to our channel I'm trying to think of some big things to do for y'all to just show y'all that y'all are loved and appreciated y'all don't owe anybody anything let's put that out there you guys uh, take your hard earned time and energy and y'all put it into a lot of these youtubers and a lot of them don't respect y'all i'm just here to tell you i'm not here to disrespect anybody i'm here to love up on all those who um need love and even the ones who are not really receptible to love it is what it is um at the end of the day i just want um you guys to know that you guys are respected you guys are loved all right bye guys